Hey guys, it's me, Mind Man, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this simple starter survival vase. Now, before we get into the video, did you know that less than 1% of my viewers are subscribed? So, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, consider liking, subbing, and hitting the bell so you can get all my notifications. Now, let's get into the building tutorial. So, the things you will need are planks stripped logs, slabs, fencing, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, and glass panes. Now, once you have all those materials, we need to find a nice flat spot and start building a four block line. Just make sure it's four blocks and not five skip the corner and make a five block line too. Skip another corner and go four blocks. Now you should have this little crescent shaped or C shaped if you look at it right. And now the next thing you wanna do is place another block right beside the five block line. And now we wanna skip that corner and go down this five. And now you should have a foundation that looks like this. So we're gonna to wanna to put oak logs at the ends and in the corners, we're going to replace oak logs. Make sure they're stripped and not just normal. So we're going to build up two blocks to make a three block inside foundation or two and a half. With our slabs later, make sure to skip the corners here and not fill them in with stone bricks. And now we're going to want to put stripped oak logs two blocks high in the corners. Just do that. And now we have something like this. So let's start putting in the roof. Make sure not to make them go down or else we'll just have two blocks and we don't like two blocks here. Make sure they extend to the logs but don't let them go anywhere past. And now we should have a little foundation. In this little one block gap, we wanna put three stairs. And this two block little gap right here, we want to put stone bricks to make a little, top area which will be our floor i'll show you what to do with this little area inside later now let's get up to the top part first thing we want to do is put fencing right here on this outer layer but don't let it go into this log that will be where our wall is build up three on these four logs right here right here and then start connecting those with oak wood planks and leave two blocks here these will be your doorways and now just finish connecting that the next thing you want to do is put two logs not logs planks in the sides to make it so that the windows will not be touching the logs and just make it look a little better extend one block higher and with your logs and now connect the top of the window frames in the planks just finish doing that. Put an extra line on top of the doorway. And now you should have something like this with three by with two by three on the one sides and a two by two on another side of the door. You should be able to just look at here and just make sure it's good. Now it's time to start on the roof. Now there are many, there are two ways to do this roof, but I'm gonna show you one way that I like. And you're just gonna wanna put one right here and extends two out towards the stairway. And just continue that and just put one right there. And now put it on top of the area on the walls, make it go two. And now just repeat that going higher and higher each time. So now that we're done with this area of the roof, the front part, we need to fix this back part that you probably have left if you did the house right. And we just have to fix that in and fill in that with slabs or else it's not gonna really look good. And now it's time to extend the outer layer one more block to the stairway. Make a small window, or if you like, I, above, it needs to be above the door. I like mine right here and very in the middle. So it isn't really aligned with the door, but it still just looks nice. So now after we've done that, it will finish this back part later. We're going to want to attach the oak fencing 
to the roof. Now, it may not look that good, but as we finish, we have to put a second layer on here. So now we have to put one layer on the bottom. Get rid of this if you have. I sort of messed up. And just get rid of that fence right there, that little fence post. That two block high. And now it's just one big fence post. So it's time to put the thing that I did on one side to the other. And we also need to fix this back area. Make sure it goes up one, probably on like halfway there so we can make it not just be a little wing on the back, but just it extends out, not just a wing. So you want to do the same things that you did by putting it down. And now you finish the roof. You should have something like this, and it should just look like this with it going continuously up and stopping at the back. But now it's time to put in our glass. So just put in the glass like this. You can do a bay window like we did last time. I did show you how to do it in the last video. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it now. It's time to put in the glass and we are finished. Let me just patch up this hole that I made. And we are finished with the main build. Now we should have this little area right here where you can go into. This little two by two where you'll put your doors. And it should look like this in here with big empty space. You can put whatever you want in there. And now it's time to figure out what to do with this little space. You can make it into a stable. You can make it into a farm. But I'm going to make it into a farm. So now that you're done with the farm, make sure to put torches on either side so the plant grows because plants need sunlight. If you have not learned that, go back to third grade. And you are finished with the build. Unless you want to just keep it empty, you can furnish it. If you want it to be just a creative base, furnish it just like a home. But if you want it to be a survival base, furnish it. Have your like. And that will beat this end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.